Hey, what's up guys and welcome back. So today I decided to take a quick stroll through Realm of Legends with my three star Immortal A-Bomb, specifically to get to Wolverine. Now, if you know anything about Immortal A-Bomb, basically you understand that there's a bit of ramp up time that goes into this guy. So while that's going on in the background, I'm gonna quickly go over his abilities and why he works for this fight. So the main source of damage from this guy comes from something called Acid Burn, but you can't have your Acid Burns without your Toxic Aura and without poisons on yourself, you can't keep that toxic aura up. So basically it comes down to this. You need poisons on yourself to feed your toxic aura and you need toxic aura up to fuel the acid burn. Keeping the poisons up on yourself is vital to this guy's damage output. So there's two different ways you can get poisons on yourself. For every 10th basic attack landed by either champion inflicts abomination with the poison. Or if you throw the special one, if you have a toxic aura active, you will gain six poisons. Without toxic aura active, you will gain four. You can activate your toxic aura by using the special two and it will last for 10 seconds, but its duration is paused as long as you have a poison on yourself because it will consume one poison every two seconds in order to keep it up. While active, it places a poison on the opponent every one second while you're standing close to them. Now you can stack up to four toxic auras at once and for each stack beyond that first one, it increases the speed that you inflict poisons on the opponent by 25%. And when you reach 10 poisons on the opponent, they are converted into a single acid burn lasting for 5 seconds. Now, while acid burn is active, you're dealing a ton of physical damage over that 5 second period. And also, all of your attacks are unblockable and you deal additional physical damage for each hit landed. Now, also keep in mind, every time you inflict an acid burn on the opponent, you also inflict a petrify. And this petrify is going to reduce the regeneration and ability power rate by 60%. So to quickly go over the special rotation here that I'm gonna use is I'm gonna build up to the special three first because this is gonna do one very important thing which is enhance my toxic auras by increasing the time it takes to consume a poison by 0.5 seconds. So basically this is gonna make it a lot easier to keep those poisons on myself as I go throughout the special rotation. Then it's basically alternating between your special two and your special one. Every time you activate a special two, it will give you another toxic aura. And of course the special ones are to feed yourself with more poisons, that way your toxic auras never run out. And once you have four stacked up toxic auras, basically it's back to the special three we go to drop and do some serious, serious damage. Now, when I was doing this, I actually threw a couple of special ones before I went to the special three, just to make sure I had enough poisons on myself to carry over in case I needed to do another special three to finish this fight. Now, the reason this special three is gonna do so much damage is because it also inflicts an acid burn, dealing direct damage over five seconds, but for each toxic aura active, it's going to inflict one additional acid burn effect. And remember, for each acid burn you inflict on the opponent, it also inflicts a petrify, reducing regen rate by 60%. So once I get up to four toxic auras, I'm gonna go ahead and throw off a couple more special ones just to ensure again that I have plenty of poisons on me to carry over. Once I throw the special three, this guy is going to absolutely melt and you'll see that here in just a little bit. So I'm gonna let this fight play out for you guys. If you like this video, please let me know by hitting that like button and hitting that subscribe button if you haven't already. But until the next time, you have a good one and I'll see y'all later.